and welcome back to another video! Sorry, I've not played it in a while. Um, my excuse is that after I saw the reveal trailer for Banjo and Kazooie, I have been playing Banjo Kazooie. And then the game that uh, shouldn't be a Banjo Kazooie game, but uh, um, it's a Banjo Kazooie game for no good reason. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Now, like, seriously, that should have been its own IP, but I'm going to do um, a retrospective on that at some point, probably. Um, but I just want to talk about um, what happened to Rearin. Um Bear in mind, this is almost completely speculation, and this is just based off how what I know about Rare, Rare and the, the, their relationship with Nintendo and Microsoft and all that. Um, so, um, let's go back a bit so quickly, just quick recap. Rare, Rare was basically a second party uh, developer for Nintendo, basically like Pokemon. But um, when uh, um, they need, when Rare, Rare needed more money, Nintendo didn't give them it and it, uh, even uh, but to, and they didn't buy them out completely, which Rare Rare 4 they would do, because they made Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie at this point, which... Oh my god, they're so good! Um, yeah, one of those games is the reason why I haven't uploaded in a while, and the other, and I haven't done the second one yet, because I wanted to take a break from Banjo-Kazooie get Banjo -Kazooie games, and I was going to do Viva Pinata, but then I realised Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts might as well not even be a Banjo-Kazooie game, so I played that. Yeah, they love Nuts and Bolts. Um... And then from from then on, uh, you know, they got bought out from my, by Microsoft. And then from then on, every game they made either failed uh, critically and or, meaning um, it was either critically or this, or critically and this, and that is financially. And I and it is just like if you ask anybody um, about the difference between new rare and old rare but no you can't really pin it down really it's more like there's just there's just something missing and honestly as a big fan of rare rare um you, you know going back to the older games and then comparing them to the newer ones it's just like it is hard to pin down just like um the old rare was quite free like they made conquer's bad fair day on the nintendo 64. i'm surprised that nintendo didn't censor it but when it came to the xbox 360 it got censored so seeing that what i think happened is rare wanted to be more risque and take more chances with, uh, um, you know, their games like, um, you know, Banjo Kazooie with Banjo Three, and I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, and Conquest Bad Fair Day Two, but Microsoft wouldn't let them. Now, I, again, I have no evidence for this, and this is all purely speculation. I have to say that for legal purposes, but in my head, this is all true. And because Microsoft was so restrictive with what they were doing, um, what they would let Rare do, it just lost the, the Rare, they just took the Rareware out of the game. It's like, no you can't do this, no you can't do that, no, 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 no. And it's just like, well, we can do this, but you've taken everything out of it that made it uniquely Rare, and just made it into a soulless husk that, uh, you know, isn't fun to play, and uh, so on. And it's like, and Microsoft's like, yeah, I'll take that and I'll sell it to the consumers. And this would make sense with Banjo 3E. Now, as uh, if you're a fan of Banjo Kazooie, you will know that in Banjo 2E, just to, like Banjo Kazooie, it teased the next game. So Banjo Kazooie was Banjo 2E and Banjo 3E was Banjo 3E. But then Microsoft brought out Rareware um, and it just never ended up happening. And uh, why? And I think this is Microsoft's fault. Because let, let, let's, uh, let's just uh, assume that they did. 
uh, they were very restrictive with rearway and not letting them really take any risks. Let's look at look at the platform and collector one that you know like genre. Around the time when Nuts and Bolts came out, it was basically dead. Heck, until ukulele, it was dead. Um, and it, uh, there were people obviously wanted it because otherwise ukulele would have never gotten funded. But uh, um, it was just dead. There weren't really any collectathon platformers coming out, and uh, uh, the only real collectathon kind of style was Mario at the time. I mean, yeah, it came out on the 360, so it had been like about the Wii era, um, 2008-ish, so yeah, about the Wii, so um, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 would have been out around then. Um, and that's the only platformer, platformer collector from that, from that I know about in the era of 2008. So Microsoft probably just looked at the idea of a platform collector and it's like, no, people won't buy that. Turn it into Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts because that's safe. And another reason why I think this might be true is Log, Lord of Games. And uh, it's kind of interesting because he is basically the catalyst for Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. He basically, you know. Started it all off with them taking the Grunty and the, the Banjo to Showdown Town and the, the starting all that hubbub and setting it all up. Could he be a stand in for Microsoft? Now, he's not outright uh, stated as evil, but he's not really a good guy either. Like, you couldn't go, oh yeah, Log, he's he's a good guy. And also, one of his, fir one of his first pieces of dialogue, I think it's actually. Like the fourth text box you get from him, like, uh, and uh, after you meet him for the first time, he he talks about no, no, no. All people want, all gamers want to do nowadays is shoot stuff. That sounds oddly like they're making fun of somebody, like they're making fun of what somebody said. My theory here is. Someone at Microsoft, a, a higher up, somebody who was basically in charge of keeping Rareware on the right track, as they would put it. I think they said that no, 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 no to a platform collector phone. All all gamers want to do nowadays is shoot stuff. So maybe they had to come up, come up with a compromise um, with said developer, and they just. Put that dialogue in there to make fun of him a bit, um, and Log is quite an unlikable character. Like, while I love Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, most of the new characters are pretty much completely unlikable. Let's see, I think there was three new characters that I can remember off the top of my head. Log, who, yeah, I don't like him at all. Um, there was tr uh, Trophy Thomas, who is a cocky a hole. And then there was the pig policeman who, he's calling you punk, and he keeps on acting all tough. I, I'm not a big, particularly big fan of him. Oh wait, and there was that frog guy. A do dodgy? Dodger? I don't know. Um, he, he, he was bland, he was bread. He, he, he's a video game equivalent of bread. Video game character equivalent of bread. And uh, yeah, I, I, and it's just like, could that be it? Now, what would be more risky than a platform and collector fun at that time? A platform and collector fun that's swearing, alcohol, violence, and war. Enter Conker's Bad Fear Day, where it got, where the original got uh, censored. And its sequel got cancelled. Hmm. I wonder who did that. Because it's not like Rareware to shy away from doing risque things. I'm just saying, if you look at it this way, it makes way too much sense. And what well, I will say, a little bit of Rareware did manage to bleed through into Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, because it is still fun to play. 
I think that's why. I think this is why all the new railway games just don't have the same spark because it's all Microsoft. Microsoft is just telling them what they can and cannot do, and uh, um, I have rare replay because man, it is costly going back and getting all the rare games. Um, so I can't be bothered. That's why I'm playing them on rare replay. Um, they were saying how it's about the people. They were doing interviews on this, like I've unlocked a little video, and it's talking about how it's how rare is about, you know, what makes a rare game is about the people and the fact they never say no to anything. Do you think a company that doesn't say no to anything would cancel a game after teasing it with no explanation? Like literally no explanation. Bob Conker's Bad Fair Day Two completely vanished. So did Banjo Three. So what I think is Microsoft snubbed them out because they were too risque and it, uh, um, uh, I think Banjo 3 would have been in favour along in development and Conquest Bad Fair Day 2 so Banjo 3 got turned into nuts and bolts because even like um, John Tron said in his video um, Banjo -Kazooie nuts and, on Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts that he, that he, he was speculating that um, because the worlds were so open and barren that they were, they might have originally planned to have been filled up with collectibles, and that would make sense. And they were just like, yeah, the game, they they got like quite far through in the games. They they made like a f world or two. It's like oh, like um, I could imagine definitely that um, Naughty Acres, um, oh sorry, Diggy Say Stadium, Diggy Say I'm sorry, and the Banjo Land being made or at least. Um, had a lot of time and effort put into them by the time Banjo God damn it, I'm hitting the like by the time Banjo 3 E got cancelled. And it was like, well, uh, we're not gonna pull this hard you know, time and work it away. So they repurposed them for um nuts and bolts. And the reason why I think those three in particular, because they are a lot more open and expansive than uh, um, like say Terrarium of Terror which is m a lot more cramped and, uh, and claustrophobic and uh, and the same with um, oh, what other one? What, what's the other one? I think there's one more uh, no actually I don't think there's any more yeah but that's just my that's just me like just like sit, sat down just like brains just like this has just been like brewing in my mind for a little while and it's just like when you look at it this way it just becomes exceedingly clear why Rear Rear has fallen so low because Microsoft just like no you can't be Rear Rear you have to be not Rear Rear anyway tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring and ding that notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.